Hi friends, welcome to the introductory video relating to the NPTEL course on entrepreneurship which will be offered in the forthcoming July 2022 semester. My name is C. Bhaktavatsal Rao. I am serving as Ajit Singhi Chai Professor in the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Before I go into the details of the course, I would like to place before you certain factors why you should consider this entrepreneurship course. As you will appreciate our ability to be on our own in life, whether it is desired or whether it is made necessary for us, is the ultimate hedge in our life. This course provides the intellectual wherewithal, basic of course, not necessarily comprehensive, but it provides the basic intellectual wherewithal for us to be entrepreneurs. And with several insights that are provided, with several uh, case examples that have been provided, we will be able to come up with pathways for us to be entrepreneurs. I have had uh, several uh, thousands of enrollments, 12,000 over to be exact, and several uh, hundreds have been certified through this course. So it has a strong track record. I also have received personally positive feedback on this course in respect of the content as well as the stimulation that is provided in terms of critical thinking. Now I must uh, bring to your attention that this course for this July 2022 is going to be even bigger and better because within the same 12 week format I have been able to add 12 special lectures which are as usual data and information rich but more importantly focus on the case studies of simulating the development of an entrepreneurial project and these are MBA level projects. This supplements the 12 actual case studies that are already there and uh, several case studies examples that have been provided throughout the course. So about myself, I hold a BE degree in Mechanical Engineering from Sri Venkateswara University which I capped up with uh, MTech degree in Industrial Engineering and PhD in Industrial Management from IIT Madras. Over 47 years of industrial and business experience in multiple industries. Leading industries have been pharmaceuticals and automobiles. And I have worked with global multinational corporations as well as entrepreneurial companies, bringing those entrepreneurial companies to a high scale. My last formal assignment was as Managing Director of Hospital Healthcare India Private Limited as Managing Director and Executive Chairman. I have established Leader Quest banner because I am passionate about uh, writing and publishing. I have brought out uh, 10 books over the last 5 months. Presently, I am serving as Ajit Singhi Chair Professor in the Department of Management Studies at IIT Madras. I am also serving as a non-executive director on the boards of Ashok Cleland Limited and Sintis Pharma Limited. I also serve certain uh, global uh, multinational companies with, with reference to their India strategies. This NPTEL course on entrepreneurship, to go into the details, provides a strong overview of the multidisciplinary nature of the domain of entrepreneurship. It also demonstrates the importance of entrepreneurship in India's industrial and business development. I have provided several real life case examples and they provide a lot of uh, insight into how entrepreneurs can develop their concepts and bring them to execution stage and the pathways are going to be useful in different fields and companies also can benefit from using those entrepreneurial thinking methodologies in, the, in their own work patterns. The course delivery will be very simple and effective. As I said, we will have 12 weeks of lectures. Each week we will have five lectures of the main course and one special lecture. They run in tandem. And the examples will be laced all through the course materials and uh, the final wrap up session will certainly contain a focused attention on 12 startups which I have personally encountered during my work life. As far as the special lectures are concerned, as you can appreciate entrepreneurship is a very dynamic field. Developments keep taking place every week, even uh, every day at times and these special lectures endeavor to bring up the entire uh, state of the art that has been taught to the contemporary level and the new futuristic developments. How do I do that? I do that through focus on um, important developments in the unicorn space, startup models and uh, various other relevant areas and also by bringing up certain uh, simulation projects for developing entrepreneurial projects and these are MBA level projects. The whole course is data and information rich. There are 1745 slides which cover the main and special lectures. These are the topics in the main course. 
entrepreneurial journey how does an entrepreneur go through the phases of uh, entrepreneurship how do i discover myself as an entrepreneur and very important uh, set of lectures relating to how do we uh, ideate how do we prototype how do we test how do we validate and how do we commercialize the idea and the product so there are three proofs which i talk about proof of concept proof of product and proof of business lot of attention on how technological innovation will be the key driving factor for entrepreneurship another important uh, lesson would be in terms of raising of finances again uh, i will merge several fields of economy and uh, development to bring out issues relating to india becoming an entrepreneurial nation or a startup nation as i said the last uh, wrap up uh, lectures would have 12 case studies of three different types as far as the main course is concerned it is a kind of total theoretical appreciation of whatever we need to do as entrepreneurs and what others have done and certain basic foundational principles and uh, economic perspectives and perspectives of business strategy but as far as the special lectures are concerned they are all upgrades contemporary developments and futuristic uh, visions so we have talks about uh, indian unicorn space we see how entrepreneurs grow by mergers and acquisitions and how in the tough area of covid-19 startups have evolved to be different to be agile and also to be very specific to covid-19 requirements i follow that up with startup models and i have also taken up uh, two different uh, types of uh, startups in the electric scooter space ather and vola electric to demonstrate how two companies can be successful then we talk about uh, startup uh, thinking process because uh, we may learn many things but we should train ourselves to think as startup founders and what is the creative and differentiated nature of the startup thinking process has been provided with five interesting examples after that i go into the simulated projects of entrepreneurship conducted at uh, domes iit madras these are mba level projects actually done by the students under my guidance so the first lecture will have four digital platform projects that means digital oriented projects thereafter we have very important but critical uh, way of st- startup entrepreneurship that is develop a product which meets an unknown or unfelt need that is a project like uh, solar charger for cellular phones for rural areas then uh, we can have a product for uh, sanitizing all the products which we touch handle but cannot be sanitized by a chemical liquid then we'll i talk about a hazardous gas detection uh, system for the homes then i also talk about uh, a book reader which not only helps you master the content but also master the language we have kindle sets etc but you can read through them for the content but you can't master the language and i try to talk about a project which is innovative because of this and finally i end up by talking about a very good startup project which is conversion of our domestic waste that is the kitchen waste into usable compost with this kind of rich uh, material life i believe that the st- participants will gain an expansive and deep appreciation of entrepreneurship as a domain and will also understand the pivotal role in our industrial and economic development you will be able to approach entrepreneurship with focus and clarity and you will understand the critical success factors as also potential risks but you will we will not stop with understanding the risk we will also try to find out the risk mitigation strategies as part of this course if you are already an entrepreneur i am very confident that you will be able to navigate the entrepreneurial waters much more effectively and the several insights and examples provided in the course should be helpful for the entrepreneurs also so i really look forward to your enrollment into the course and uh, seeing you through the video lecture format thank you very much for your attention